Are you trying to grow a hiking Instagram, but you can't get any followers? I got you. Instagram is a hard game, especially hiking Insta. But there is a way to grow. In this video, I'm going to show you how I gained over 2,000 followers this summer. And if you follow the same steps, you can grow your hiking Instagram account quickly as well. Bonus. If you watch until the very end, I'm going to share with you some secret tips that nobody else is using that will help you grow your account. Key number one is to post good quality and informative content daily. This can be in the form of a reel or a post. I suggest that you alternate between the two every day. But before you get finger happy <laughs> posting away, let's talk about what a good quality post looks like. Instagram is going to gauge how good your post is based upon how long your audience spends with it. Now, you want Instagram to think yeah. you have good content so that it pushes your posts into the feed of accounts that do not follow you. This is a bit harder than it sounds. A good post keeps your audience and is going to have a few attributes. First, you need to post only carousels. If a follower scrolls past your first picture, the second picture will show up on their feed, and so forth and so on. But the goal here is to get the person to like the post. So post good, high quality pictures of your hiking experience. You can also post videos in your carousel, which is a tactic that I highly suggest you experiment with. Secondly, you need people to save and send your post. The best way to do this is to have an informative description on your post. Now you can find cheesy hiking quotes on Pinterest all day, but that type of post isn't gonna get your audience to save it or get them to send it to their friends. Although, it may get you a few likes. Now, I'm going to admit that getting your post to new accounts is it's kind of difficult. So you always want to be sure that you are tagging your post with the geo locations. No, if you do this and you schedule your post, the geo tag is not going to work. I'm not sure why this is the case for Instagram, but it's kind of a bummer if you like to schedule your post in advance. Okay, so fourth, you need to add an alternate description on your photos. I know this is time consuming, but it's important information that the algorithm will use to determine how to classify your post. After all, you want your post to get to the right audience. When it gets to the wrong audience, people just scroll past it. My final piece of advice is to also use hashtags. Accounts do follow hashtags, and you're more likely to end up in a feed if you use them appropriately. Now, I do not suggest using blanket tags like hashtag hiker, but something more like hashtag Tennessee hikes or hashtag Tennessee waterfall. All right, key number two, let's talk about reels. You posted a carousel on Monday, now you wanna post a reel on Tuesday. That's because there's a relationship between posts and reels. In essence, they sorta of feed each other. The reels algorithm is all about suggesting content it thinks you'll find entertaining. For the most part, you'll see videos from accounts you do not follow, but you've shown interest in the topic or the sound. Did you hear that? you'll see the most reels from accounts you don't follow. The more likely the algorithm thinks you'll watch the video all the way through, like it, comment, save, share, or visit the audio page, the higher it's gonna appear up on your reels feed. If you want your page to reach new people, reels are the best way to do it. If you aren't making reels, well, growing your account's gonna be slow. So as promised, now I'm gonna share a secret on how I gained a lot of diehard subscribers on my reels. You are targeting hikers, but I suggest that you target hikers in your area. That needs to be your prime audience when starting out. Now these people are hungry for trails and you can provide them with that information on reels. The equation's simple. Your reel will be a trail review under 60 seconds. You wanna introduce them to the trail, show a few destinations on the trail, and then share some information and some facts. And then at the end of the reel, you wanna reveal the big destinations such as a waterfall or an overlook. I've tested lots of things out and I'm telling you this is the most effective reel format that you can make for hiking. Ignore the quotes and ignore trending reels for now. You don't need those. You don't need those to grow a loyal and consistent fan base. Now this is the final key. Let's talk about stories. These are a bit unlike your posts and reels because your goal here is not to reach a new audience. Instead, you're wanting to build a brand and build recognition. You want engagement from your fans. Here's a few tips. Do a mixture of videos and pictures. You want to talk to your fans as if you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Tell them about the struggle you're on while walking the trail. Let them get to know you personally. I think it's totally okay to go beyond just hiking content here. Show them your home life. Show them your hobbies. Show them things that excite you. 
There's also engagement features that you should be using, such as polls and questionnaires. This gets your audience to buy into you. Give them a say on a decision. Let them tell you where to hike next. Stories are the number one way to build that strong engagement and loyalty. People will look forward to direct messaging you and answering your polls and questions. There's three other things I can get into quickly that may be of some use to you. First, spend time commenting on other people's posts. These can be people you follow or just go into geolocations and spend some time commenting on people's posts there. The key here is not to be spammy, but to add value and cause curiosity. Second, follow your competition. In fact, don't even see them as competition, but more like colleagues. You can find some inspiration from them and also potentially collaborate on projects in the future with them. And third, if you're just starting out, you can pay for some reach through Instagram. Initially, maybe $5 a day is a good budget. The key here is that you want to target a local audience. Did you catch that? Target a local audience. That is the best way to grow your hiking Instagram. And every tip here I have is given to you to do that. A local audience is going to be the most loyal and it's going to help you grow faster than anything else. As always, I hope you enjoyed this content. And if you did find value here, please be sure to like the video and subscribe. Happy hiking, friends. Stay free and creative.